what's up what's up mga guys mga katiki so meron tayong ano tagal na tayong hindi nakapag vlog so ngayon uh, meron tayong isang i repair so, nagkakaroon tayo ng isang meron na tayong oras para makapaggawa ng video ulit so ito po yung i repair ko ngayon ito po yung uh, PCB outdoor this is the PCB outdoor of the Fuji uh, air conditioner Yan. So, five, ano po ito? 5 ton Tsaka 4 tonner na uh, Air conditioner Ito yung outpo, outdoor PCB So, yung complaint po dito Nang uh, gumawa Kasi ano eh Hindi nila ano to eh Hindi na to Napalitan ka agad So, change board ka agad yung ginagawa dito So Ang gagawin natin dito Ito troubleshoot natin kung bakit sabi Bagsak daw yung bultay dito sa kanyang uh, communication communication nya output communication output meaning yung communication output ituturo ko sa inyo kung saan po dito makikita so hello guys ito po yon yung PCB na outdoor ng uh, Fuji electric air conditioner so sa 4 tan po ito 4 tan at saka 5 tan so ang sira po nito ang sabi ng technician uh, uh, ano po bagsak low voltage ang output communication output is low voltage so uh, I will check this and then I will uh, see later see you later and then makikita po kung bakit mababa po yung output nito sa communication niya. So it means yung red wire po ito yung communication. Pakita ko sa inyo. So ito po yung isang model ng uh, PCB sa uh, ng uh, unit. Saka ito po yung isang model. So yung wire na pula na yan mahaba, yung long wire, the red one is the communication output. Uh, communication output wire so dyan po tayo mag we will check the output afterwards uh, this one is good PCB the other one is the uh, uh, effective PCB so I will check uh, what is the difference for between this one these two uh, PCB okay uh, just watch okay guys let's how let's have now a, a testing for this good PCB so I will check the output of this uh communication output with the red wire so I will okay the setting of our test multimeter is on AC volts to 200 setting maximum 200 volts AC so as you can see there is so this is the input of the power supply input I will put in the power supply in the main line so I will check the output so this is the output wire the output one okay and then the one probe is in the AC, AC that uh, from the AC input. One probe is on the AC input, and then the other probe is for the communication output. So we can see the reading afterwards. Okay, we will try. Okay, you can see the output is almost 107 volts, 102. So and then the other side of the line is 113, 100, 113, 112, okay. So it means this is a good one because in the AC input line there is a reading between uh, communication output and then the line in line uh, AC input. So there is, okay. Uh, see, you can see the input AC is this one and the red group so the it means there is output for this is a good one is working is working PCB you see as a reference this is a good so I will compare this into uh, into other PCB that the, the complaint is uh, the low voltage voltage of the communication output so i will confirm it i will try to check this switch off and then uh, put the another pcb okay so this is a good one so we will set aside this and see the this is the effective one so this is the red wire the communication output wire so we will check this the pin Check the pin. Okay, you can see. 
I will test also how much the voltage for this uh, power supply, how much the output voltage. There is 16 volts and there is 5 volts also. But uh, we will focus on the communication because this PCB complaint is uh, defective in the low voltage of the output of the communication output. So I will check it. I will check it. This is the output. The, this is the output, the communication. Communication. And the pin, the blue one. And then other side, the AC input. Okay? We will try it. So there is no output. There is no output. Okay. But in the other side of the line, the AC there is too much 157, 157 volts. The other side is no signal. Only three, four. It means there is a defective one. There is defective parts. And then I will see you the defective parts. I will check and then I will repair it. Or maybe I will change the IC. Okay. So the defective one is here. Okay. Let's check it out. The defective IC is the communication IC. This is the communication IC. This is not uh, repairable. This is not repairable. But must be changed by uh, from the new or from the other PCB. So I will check this. I will remove and then I will uh, check for the other PCB move from the other PCB and then check the voltage and then okay guys I will show you how I can remove this uh, IC so I will show you how I remove this this is uh, very hard to remove but uh, I have uh, some uh, tools to remove this okay let's be careful because this uh, IC is sensitive. If you have a good IC, you must be careful the, not to uh, fill off, or not to cut the pins on this IC, with the small pins. And like this, you must have a uh, soldering sucker to remove. My soldering sucker is very good in sucking. Okay. All right. So after that, the five pins must be removed also. This one. This is how I do it. After I repair, I remove. I remove from the old one. I remove the defective, I remove the good one. So after that, only transfer the IC and then the PCB will become uh, working as a good uh, condition. Alright, so this one. You see, this is the IC. This IC is very hard to find. So. If you have this uh, good one, you must be careful because this is a sensitive one. So we can remove the connections from the other from another PCB. If you have PCB has a good IC, it's a hybrid one. So this. So very easy guys, only remove this IC, this is defective, and then change from the another PCB. I have uh, one another, I have one, and then, uh, but uh, I will also teach you guys how I can check this is defective one more time. Then. So, before I can see you, let's see. First, that uh, I'm using an analog multimeter when checking this because the analog 
multimeter is very sensitive in uh, terms of uh, uh, reading the uh, resistance um, but the most accurate in reading is the digital because it reads uh, especially in the designing it can read more accurate but uh, I I'm used and often used uh, analog that's why but I will teach you this is my effective way of, uh, of uh, looking for the defective one because I'm already um, long time using analog multimeter so I will teach you okay I'm, my range is only 110k uh, for the times 10k for the ohmmeter so I will check number zero number zero okay so how can I check if this is defective or not so this is defective but I will show you how so this one this okay the the communication output is this pin of the IC so this pin is from the uh, black proof so in the red proof is here so that's one oh, so you see the reading is only how much okay guys we're back i will show you how i read this uh, ic this reading is like a diode okay it's the reverse but reverse there is no reading in the reverse but reverse direction of the multimeter so only one direction okay like this and then the other one is also like this yes almost the same reading like a diode but this one is must be near uh, four here in the number 4 of the multimeter reading because I used to uh, to read a good one this one is the bad IC is defective because uh, it has reading a high resistance like a diode but high resistance must be here on the communication and then the one pin on the uh, input AC input because this one pin is in AC input this one is communication output I will show you. I have one uh, good uh, IC. I have one good IC. I will show you. Okay. I will check one IC. One IC. I will check. Yeah, this one is a good IC. Good IC. The communication of the pin. And then this one. Yes, we should not compare. This one is good. 